now as we finished this part we need to create a copy of it and connect it to this middle part but first we need to make this part prepared for the connection if you look here look at this you find this area here is wider than this area this edge and also it's pumped up a little bit so let's do it and then we start the connection so I select this piece the middle piece and I press T to go to top view and of course I need to work on this edge and these two edges but first I need to make this object invisible first so hide selection so here as you see it's not divided this this area so I need to select in the edge mode I go to edge mode and I need to make this lower edge this edge oops actually ring selection doesn't work so I have to uh, select it one by one I need to make it a bit scaled be smaller so I can use the cut tool to create cuts in the middle of it and these two that's it press T to get back to top view now I use the scale tool and let me scale it just a little like this fine now I get back to vertex mode and right click use cut and let me create these cuts I need another one here to stop a cut you right click if you're not keeping up with us since the beginning okay so now we got the cuts we need so we can raise them up I need two cuts also here and here right click okay so let me get back to vertex mode and I need to select this group of vertices and scale them on the X axis so as you can see even uh, actually I accidentally selected these so let me use alt to deselect them and these two yeah. let me do it again on the X axis let's use this and I need to move this like this uh, very much maybe these need to be moved okay and here this one like this okay same here this is the edge we were working on I need to push this bit on the left side this will be the edge continuing up to this one okay and then I will take these edges here just move this and this too and of course you want you don't want to um, modify the uh, circular view you already have so make sure everything is rounded fine now I need to raise on the edge mode I need to select this edge this one 
and this one I'm pressing control to continue with my selection and now let me get back to left view and raise this up a bit not much yeah like this uh, I don't need to, re to raise this so I press ctrl Z and uh, I get back to top view and I don't need to select this so let me use alt and deselect this group of edges uh, but I need this one too so let me do it again just raise it little bit and then deselect this maybe I use rectangular selection and let me raise this and I will continue deselecting oops that's it let's do the same with these two edges get back to top view double click shift oops do the same here and this edge uh, maybe need not this maybe this yes this group of edges And I take these edges I already created a few minutes ago and let me rotate this so I can see orbit sorry not rotate we're rotating the objects but we're orbiting the scene I need to go this way so let me take this same to this side okay get back to top view I think um, that's enough okay so let's get back to left view and raise them just a little bit not much and of course I need to do just like I did before I need to deselect stage by stage raise up do it again deselect up deselect this one but I need this get back to lift that's it uh, we have these two vertices two groups of vertices we need to raise them up to this group and this group again but not very much just to get some smoothness and the movement Now we need to lower these two vertices in the left view 
and that won't be very much just tiny value like this maybe these two need to go up and that's it now I need to make it wider we create this pump we need to make this wider so we work on top view and that won't be difficult we select these two groups and we start using scale step by step so I start scaling deselect if you got the idea you can pause the video and do it on your own We use Alt, not Control, to be select. Not much left. Only more three rows. Uh, maybe these two need to go outward slightly. That's it okay so now it's ready to be connected to the other edge i will stop this video i will make sure we have the same number of vertices on both sides so you don't have problems i will create some creased edges on these uh, strings here or these fins and then I will come back to you in the next video to start connecting these pieces together. So keep up with us.